Okay, so number six on the list is the reclassify node. And it's a very well-established node used widely within SPSS Modeler by all sorts of different users at different levels. But I don't think people really appreciate just how good it is at cleaning data when it's got messy categories. Um, and it's just really, really powerful at that. So let's have a look at how that works. Again, I'm using the simulation generation node here uh, simply to create some data for me to play with. But it's a very typical situation. This is a data set that only has two uh, variables within it. One is the ID field and the other is a field which should be dichotomous. It should be a binary field which indicates which city uh, the respondent's in. But as is typical uh, with a lot of data sets, there are issues with regard to the data entry. And as a result of that, we're not getting just two values that are coming out. So if we look at city here, you'll see exactly what's happening. And here we have, as you can see, if I sort it by count, you can see that we actually have London and Birmingham, but we have a lot of spelling mistakes and categories which should be classified as either London or, or Birmingham, but were actually given other, other descriptions or, or misspelled. Um, so the, the reclassify node is just really good at dealing with that sort of situation. And it's very good at dealing with situations where you have many, many string categories that need to be simplified very quickly. And we'll have a look at how it actually does that. If I go to um, uh, field operations here and call up reclassify and connect to it, if I go to edit here, um, I'll call up, the, ask it to find this field city. And one of the things it can do is if I click the value here, get, it goes and gets the values of the field. That has to, the, the data has to be instantiated within the source node. But what you can see is it's actually grabbing the values within the data. So I could, I could give these new values. I could type north or south or something like that. Or I could just type in London or Birmingham. And the lovely thing about it is that you don't have to type it every single time because once you've typed it in, it remembers that that has been entered and you can just cherry pick it from a list. So here we have Birmingham's been remembered in there. Now if I come to London, I can again cherry pick that from the list. There's London and Birmingham just been pulled across here. And it's just a very fast way for me to go through this and to clean these up. Now, of course, there are different bits of uh, ways in which I could do this using code. Um, but if you imagine situations where you have uh, you know, lots and lots of different values and you really just want to collapse them all together into a much smaller set. Um, it, this is a really fast way to do that. So that's one of the reasons we like the reclassify node. I can either overwrite the existing field or create a new field. Let's, over, let's overwrite the existing field, click OK, and then we'll just uh, connect the city uh, chart back up to the reclassify node and run that again. And when we run that, we can see that we only get two uh, cases coming out here, Birmingham, London, so it's cleaned that data up very nicely for us.